Hey guys, welcome back to the Perkins channel. As you can see, this video is not gonna be like any other video on this channel. It's not a vlog, but it is me. I'm here and I'm gonna show you how I pack my bag for travel. This video is not a technical video. It's not how I set up my gear, how I shoot the gear, how I edit. It is just what is in this bag that helps Desi and I create the vlogs that we create. You guys might think it's just a drone and a camera, but there's a lot more that goes into it. If you guys want more in-depth tutorials, leave it in the comments down below. We love to hear your opinions because we want to start giving you guys more content the stuff that you guys are asking for something that's going to help you guys create things the way that we create them if you guys have any questions at all about the gear or what gear i'm showing you links are going to be down below to everything i will be in the comments and i will answer all of your questions so first up is what type of backpack is this this is a peak design travel backpack i backed these guys on kickstarter because i saw what they were doing i love their products the first product that i ever had from them was this clip right here. And this clip is the capture clip. Let me show you what it does. Cool thing about this bag is you have quick access to the camera. Whenever I'm traveling, camera is always tucked away, but as soon as I get to location, camera is coming out. And it is going to live right here. Boom. As long as this backpack is on my back and we are traveling, this camera is right here. And this thing is on there tight. It's not coming off. I've climbed mountains. I've done some really stupid stuff with this backpack on. And this camera has never fallen off. The only time I've dropped a camera is when it is in my hands. If it is on this thing, it's not going anywhere. This thing does not come with the backpack. It is an extra feature that I bought and put on there, but I truly swear by this thing and I love it. First thing I do when I get to the hotel is this laptop comes out and it is staying in the hotel the whole time and that makes the backpack a lot lighter. Before I dig into the inside of the backpack, I do have three things clipped on the outside. One of them is a camera tool so that I can unscrew and screw on the tripod mounts that I use. Second thing is a little eyeglass screwdriver. This thing has all the tiny little screwdrivers on it. You never know when you're gonna need one of these things. Quick access and then the last thing I have that I wish was not on here but it is because it makes things convenient for Desi is this little S clip. Whenever Desi has something she doesn't want to carry, this thing gets clipped on right here. This thing is a sandbag. This thing weighs oh, probably about 15 pounds. The average weight of Desi's purse. Clip that right there and then we're off to the races. And my backpack just came twice as heavy and Desi is now able to run freely. This thing is massive. It is heavy. I can get this thing to weigh no joke 40 pounds. I try not to but it has everything that I need inside to make the vlogs that I make. So let's open it up. Boom, there you go. This is the ideal layout for this backpack. It's kind of like a hotel room. When you first get there, it's the best that hotel room will ever look like because once you start unpacking and Desi starts getting dressed, it looks like a hurricane hit. It's kind of what the backpack looks like at the end of the trip, but this is the most ideal placement for everything for travel, keeping it all safe, everything has a home. First up is the GoPro. The GoPro is a very unique camera. It's an action camera, so it doesn't have a purpose in everyday shooting. If we are going on activities, say we're snorkeling, scuba diving, skydiving, riding ATVs, jet skis, the GoPro is my go-to camera. The reason that is is because it's small, it's compact, and it has amazing picture for the size. The GoPro also has a very unique lens and that lens gives everything a fish eye effect. Now you can disable that, but I think sometimes it's really cool because you get that whole point of view angle. So if you look right here, this is my setup right now. It's very simple, just two lights, my monitor, and then my backpack. It's very cool. Love the way that these things look, but like I said, they have a purpose and they are not used every day. Next thing right here is my just Apple notebook charger. This is one of those things that will stay in the hotel room. This is mostly just for travel so I can edit on the plane. Got my memory cards. This is a little Pelican case. Got everything I need in here, extra cards. That way if I'm shooting way too much B-roll, I got another card to swap it out with. Keep them nice and safe in here. This guy right here is a necessity when traveling international. It kind of goes without saying, but this will convert the electricity to any plug from around the world to the standard US plug that we have or vice versa. Next up, we have the DJI Mavic Pro 2. This is the current drone that I'm flying. It's tucked away right in here. The reason that I love this drone is because one, it has an amazing sensor on it and it folds. It is compact. I can fit it in the bottom of my backpack with my main camera and this thing goes with me everywhere. I don't think there's a trip I've been on that I have not taken a drone. Even if I'm in a country where I'm not allowed to fly a drone, I still have the drone on me just in case we go to private property or somewhere that I am allowed to fly. 
Almost every vlog that you've seen of ours has aerial footage. It's one of my passions, one of the funnest things that I do on these trips is fly these drones. The reason that I love this drone is because it is so compact. If I'm not flying this drone and I need to save space in my backpack, I will use the DJI Mavic Air, which has a little bit lower image quality, but the size to image quality ratio is like hands down amazing. I usually have three cameras on me. I'm gonna count my iPhone as a camera. It's not in the backpack, but it's always on me. And anytime that there's a moment that I wanna capture and I wanna get it quick and I don't have a camera on me, the iPhone is a great option for that. My second camera and Desi's first camera option that she uses is the DJI Osmo Pocket. This thing is an amazing piece of technology. Right now I have a case on it from Polar Pro. I really like what they did with this. Desi keeps it in her purse and this is her main talk to camera right here. You just press one button and this thing turns on and it is good to go. It has a three axis gimbal on it. So whatever footage you're shooting is going to be rock steady and just look beautiful. The audio on it is not amazing, but for what it is and how small it is and how convenient it is truly, truly amazing. The other really cool feature on this thing is it has a screen on the back. So you see exactly what you're shooting while you're shooting it. And then say I need to turn the camera around, click one button. Boom, there you go. I use it for a lot of B-roll when I don't wanna pull out my big camera or say we're just going on a quick trip and I don't need the big camera, I don't wanna bring the whole backpack, I bring this or Desi has this on her person at all time. Next up is my main camera. And this is the camera that I am shooting every single day. This is the camera that gets all the amazing footage that we shoot. This is the Sony a7 III. And it's my favorite camera that I've ever shot video on. I used to be a Canon guy. John switched me over to Sony and I really haven't looked back for video ever since. This thing is gonna shoot amazing slow motion. It's gonna do great in low light because of the lens that I have on here. I have the 24 to 70, 2.8. It's just all around great video camera. Next up is audio, guys. This is a microphone that goes goes right onto the hot shoe of the camera, sits up right here. Audio is clutch for video, and if you don't have good audio, odds are people are probably going to shut off your video and skip to the next one. So if you sat through a vlog of mine in the earlier days with bad audio, I commend you, I thank you, and I promise I will try my hardest not to let that happen again, but there's a lot of times that you just forget to turn on the mic. That's a cool thing about this one is that once it's plugged in, it turns on with the camera, so you don't have to worry about leaving it on all night, battery dying, and then having bad audio the next day because you did not charge your battery. Next up, I have a strap. This is the Peak Design strap. It kind of integrates with the backpack. It also integrates with these little latches right here on the side of the camera that I put on here. It's just a quick release system. It's a lot easier than the system that came with the camera. So anytime that we go out at night and I don't wanna have the backpack on me, I just throw the strap on, boom, straight around my neck, wrap around the shoulder. I can also use it as a stabilizer. If you pull like this and you shoot, your video is gonna be a little bit smoother. If not, it's just right here, boom. And that's how I go out at night, no backpack. Now we're getting into the accessories of what I have. I do have an extra phone on me. This is the Google Pixel 3. Sometimes I use this as a camera. Sometimes I hook it up to the drone so that way I can fly the drone with this camera while still using my other phone to Insta stories, take pictures, whatever I need to do. Also, when we're internationally traveling, sometimes I pick up an international SIM chip. I don't have to use my whole mobile phone and then get a, a ton of overage charges. Convenient to have, not necessary. Next up, I got a battery pack. This thing is used to charge whatever I need to charge, sometimes phones, sometimes GoPros, even the cameras. Always a good idea to have an extra battery pack. These guys right here are my ND filters. These ones are for the Osmo Pocket. They pop right onto the thing magnetically so you don't have to screw anything. This is for the Mavic Pro 2. And then I have this neutral density for the Sony right here. If you guys don't know what these things do, they go onto your cameras and it allows you to have a little bit better video during the day. This is just a little cube that I put in the backpack. It's got a little extra SD case just in case I need it for the day. And then I got extra batteries for my cameras. So this one's for the Sony, this one's for the GoPro. Usually there's more in there because the last thing that you wanna do is run out of batteries when you are anywhere in the world because you never wanna miss a shot and it's usually due to running out of memory or running out of batteries. Don't be that person charge your batteries, make sure you have enough SD cards. Last but not least, I have this guy right here. 
This is just a, a little organizer that I have. I got all my cables in here. So I have headphones, USB-C, Apple chargers, iWatch charger, and then I also have a USB-C dongle for the MacBook. That way I can transfer all my footage and everything like that. And then if I go into this side, I have what's really cool. This is called the plug bug. This guy right here is for the Apple computers. You can swap out the brick, boom, put it on here like a little transformer. And now I have an international plug for any country that I go to, and I got two extra USB ports. This thing is super clutch when traveling internationally. I don't always bring it because it's not necessary because I have other adapters. This thing is great for when you're just traveling with your MacBook. Next thing and last thing that I have in here is a little case right here and here is my SSD. This is what I back everything up onto while I'm on a trip. Usually when I'm on a trip, I have my footage backed up two times. So that includes once on here, once on the computer and then I keep my SD cards. I do not format an SD card until I get back home and the vlog is edited. The reason that I do that is because there have been times where I have left SD cards, I've lost cameras, I've lost GoPros, and that footage is gone. So I triple check everything, I back everything up so there is zero excuses. So when I get home, that footage is going to be there and that vlog is coming to you guys. And if you're wondering what this thing is, this is a tile. Put these things in whatever, you can put them in backpacks, put them on your keychains, and then you can ring them from your phone if you misplace something and you will hear that tone and you can find it. It's kind of like find my iPhone, but for all your gear. That's it, I don't know, maybe that didn't seem like a lot of stuff to some of you, maybe it seemed like a lot, but this is the essential stuff that I have for my backpack and what I'm traveling with. We've been doing this for almost three years. This backpack, when, before it started, I've gone through so many backpacks and this is the one that I am loving the most right now and I think that I'm gonna keep using. One, because of the compartments, I could easily rearrange this for each trip depending on the gear that I bring. This whole case comes out if I wanted it to. So then that way I just have a giant hole. I can pack all my clothes in it if I'm not really using a bunch of cameras. The whole thing's just modular. I really like it. It fits all the gear that I need. When I first started packing for these trips, I literally had a Pelican case with two cameras, every single lens that I own. I had two GoPros and it was just, it was too much. It was so much footage. I had to refine it. This is where I am right now. This is probably gonna change within the next like three weeks. But if that does, I will update you guys. Hopefully you like this content. Like I said in the beginning, this is not an in-depth tutorial on the gear or how to use it or my settings. If that's something that you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments down below. We're looking forward to creating more content for you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. What? That was my timer. I said a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Hopefully this video is good. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Whew. I think I just filmed my first talk to camera. Let me tell you guys, if you have never talked to a camera by yourself in a room, one, you think you are crazy while you're doing it, and two, you lose all train of thought. Like literally, I can speak to this gear like the back of my hand when that camera is not off or I see someone in person and they ask me questions. But the moment that camera comes on, things get a whole lot more complicated. So for everyone out there in YouTube world that speaks to a camera in a room by themselves, I commend you. Anyone that has not tried it, I recommend you try it and you will realize how hard this job truly is. See you guys next time.